It is very close to Arkadelphia. So if you're in Arkadelphia right now, you do need to make sure you're taking shelter and staying away from windows and doorways, heading to the lowest and innermost level of your home. Great places to take shelter include bathrooms as well as closets, anything that doesn't have access to an outside wall. So waking up early Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, maybe you're headed off to church or maybe you're going out to enjoy some Sunday brunch. You will definitely want the umbrella. Why? I just want you to know, I basically almost cried putting that on there. That is the lowest temperature I've ever put on a seven-day forecast. Yeah, I was trying to think of when the last time it's it's dipped that low. And I it's, don't think I've ever experienced a wind chill in the negatives, so. Nope, I haven't. But I will tomorrow. I actually brought a thermometer out here this morning so I can give you uh, a better look at actually how cold it is in Sherwood. Right now, we're flirting with zero degrees. On this reflectivity map, nothing to me right now screams that there's a good indication of rotation. Typically, there's a little bit more knots in the radar, and they're really more distinct, but currently, that does not seem to be the case. Now, I hope you didn't baste your day inside with the turkeys. Hopefully, you were able to get outside and flock around for a nice afternoon feast in the sunshine. We're taking a roller coaster ride. Are you guys ready? I Are you am. guys ready? You're going to put your hands up? One ready for this? Yes, I am. Ready? Here we go. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. I'm scared and of heights. We're oh, we're dropping the. <laughs> Notice we're not seeing any couplets at this time, but what you can notice, especially through western White County, now moving out of Faulkner County, just towards the east of Valonia, notice this green line here. That is very indicative of strong winds, typical straight line wind scenario in this area. Winds can cause just as much damage on their own as a straight line wind compared to a tornado. So you need to treat these severe thunderstorm warnings the way you would a tornado warning. The Gulf of Mexico has very warm waters as as well as a low wind shear environment. And those two factors together could lead to some intensification of this system. I call it sassy Sally because once she gets in that goal, if you just wait, she's going to pop an attitude very quickly. But there's going to be a dry layer in place early Monday morning that could actually cut off that moisture and cut off some of that snowfall formation. And a woman is in jail this morning after she was arrested by Pulaski County deputies in connection with the homicide. 20 year old Brittany Garza has been charged with first degree murder as you're headed out around baseline you shouldn't run into any problems but a little bit further down the road through i-30 near alexander we're starting to notice a bit more of a backup good Kennedy. afternoon happy wednesday to you it is absolutely beautiful across the state nothing but sunshine out there especially as we look towards the capital in west little rock from our dashing and cooling tower camera it is a beautiful day and you know what it doesn't only look good it feels good. Our temperature is now in the 60s up to 67 in Little Rock with just a very light wind at less than five miles per hour. And it doesn't just feel good here. It feels good statewide, even though temperatures are still in the upper 50s in northwest Arkansas. It's really not too bad down south in the low 70s, already at 74 in Pine Bluff and 70 in Camden. Now get this. We have a five star forecast for outdoor dining today. So take that lunch break, expend it some time out Outside, especially for dinner as well. It's going to be quite comfortable. Temperature staying in the low 70s for both lunch and dinner. Enjoy the sunshine today. I highly encourage it because we will not see much sunshine in the forecast coming our way tomorrow. Instead, while our first storm system that brought showers and storms yesterday to the natural state pushes off towards the northeast, our second one that's going to bring rain to the state is now building in across North Texas as well as New Mexico. Now, it doesn't look too too impressive currently, but it is going to bring the chance for scattered showers and storms back to Arkansas within the next 24 hours. For today, however, nothing to worry about. We'll be staying very dry, very warm. Warm front lifting off towards the north. That's also going to increase our moisture in the atmosphere. So by late tonight into very early tomorrow morning, not only we're going to start to see cloud cover building back in, but we're going to have scattered showers and storms moving in through west central Arkansas by around midnight, pushing into central Arkansas by 2 to 4 a.m and continue to track off towards the northeast by 7 a.m. Sunrise, there's still going to be some scattered shower and storm activity across the state. By mid to late morning, we'll get a little bit of a break, but as the low pressure system and cold front moves into Arkansas, by around 2.30 tomorrow afternoon, scattered showers and storms are then likely to redevelop. However, come 7 o'clock, all that rain clears out of here. will start to dry out and have much calmer conditions. However, the Arkansas Storm Team will be watching the system very closely because there is a 
high risk for severe weather, not only tonight across the southern half of the state, but statewide heading into Thursday. In fact, that risk has increased to 30% across northeast and east Arkansas. That's the highest probability that severe storms will occur within 25 miles of any singular point. And when it comes to severe weather, we're primarily going to be dealing with the threat of strong damaging winds, but also some large hail with the chance for an isolated tornado. It is a low risk. However, we can't completely rule it out of the forecast. Flooding also does not look to be a major concern. However, it does look like we'll pick up anywhere from one to two inches of rain with this next storm system again impacting us overnight tonight, lasting throughout the day on Thursday. After Thursday, though, the sunshine returns just in time for Friday to wrap up the work week. Temperatures back in the middle 70s will stay mostly dry for Saturday and Sunday with a rain chance coming in Saturday Saturday evening through Sunday morning temperatures with another front dropping about 10 degrees from Saturday to Sunday. But to start the next week as we wrap up the month of March, Monday and Tuesday should be mostly sunny, mostly dry with temperatures back in the upper 60s as well as low 70s.